Tear meniscus height measurement provides an indication of aqueous tear volume as most of the tears reside in the menisci along the lid margins. The tears in the meniscus are spread over the ocular surface with each blink. They emerge from the lacrimal glands at the temporal aspect and progress in a nasal direction towards the puncta to drain through the nasal lacrimal canal. The tear meniscus can be viewed non-invasively, so do not add fluorescein before performing this measurement. It is best to assess the meniscus height about two seconds after a blink, after the tears have stabilised, but before breakup has occurred and triggered reflex tearing. Some instrumentation allows the use of infrared to observe the tear meniscus height, which reduces the risk of reflex tearing. Digital calipers can be applied to the captured image to precisely assess the tear meniscus height. The profile regularity should also be observed as an indicator of tear film quality. Without access to specialised instrumentation, a slit lamp by a microscope can be used to estimate tear meniscus height with the patient seated comfortably at the slit lamp, project a narrow width beam of low to medium intensity over the central area of the lower lid margin and increase to medium magnification. Adjust the height of the slit beam to its smallest setting, typically around 0.3 millimetres, as this will be used as a comparator. This is done as the slit lamp beam width is rarely well calibrated. Note this method provides an estimation of the tear meniscus height rather than an accurate quantification. Again, pay attention to the quality of the tear meniscus as well as its height. Optical coherence tomography, or OCT, can be used to get a cross-sectional image through the tear meniscus profile, from which the area can be quantified and the actual volume estimated. More invasive ways to evaluate tear volume include the phenyl red thread test and the Schirmer test. The main role of the Schirmer test is as a provocative test of reflex tearing to determine lacrimal gland function and therefore should be performed without topical anaesthesia. Bending the strip at the notch, ideally without touching the filter paper strip and contaminating it with skin oils, the hooked end is placed over the lower lid margin. Placement is ideally within the temporal third of the lid margin. The strip is left in place for five minutes and the wetted length measured from the notch after this time. The phenyl red test is a less invasive alternative to the Schirmer test using pH sensitive cotton thread rather than filter paper. The hooked end of the thread is placed over the lower lid margin again in the lateral third and is left in place for only 15 seconds before measurement.